today we're going to take a look at how to do zoom in and zoom out effects in Final Cut Pro X. Hey what's up guys this is Marcos and this channel is all about helping you create more video so you can build your brand. So if you're into this kind of stuff, video creation, YouTube, uh, subscribe right now so you don't miss a thing. Also hit that little, um, this is like a little bell button. You click it and it'll notify you when I post a new video. So let's get into it. I've personally had trouble doing proper zoom in and zoom out effects because it goes wonky. I don't know. I'm not uh, an expert with keyframing and zooming in and zooming out, uh, but I've experimented with it and I believe I have a solution to make it very simple and easy to do even if you're just getting started. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Without further ado, let's jump over to a computer and I'll show you how to do that. All right. So first of all, I want to show you that there's different ways of doing zoom in and zoom outs. Depending on what you're doing, you might want to use uh, different uh, tools that are built into Final Cut Pro X. So the first one is uh, the Ken Burns. This one you should know about because it might be suitable for certain situations. So if I play this time lapse, you see it's pretty simple. It's okay-ish, but we can make it better, more dynamic by adding a Ken Burns effect. So if you go to the, this drop down, select crop, and then Ken Burns, right? And it'll tell you this is where the end screen is going to be. I mean, where the end of the video is going to be, and it's going to start right here. So it's basically going to zoom out. You can also flip it around and do a zoom in. It'll start as you shot it, and it'll end zoomed in. And you can always make this end zoom smaller. And the same thing goes the other way. You can switch this around. It'll start really zoomed in. Actually, I'm moving the end screen there at the start. It'll start here and then it'll zoom out. If we play this, see that it's already making our time lapse more dynamic. But this is just one instance. Um, the Ken Burns is only suitable for certain situations like this time lapse. But what if you need more control? Then that's when you would use that transform tool. And I'm going to show you how to do that with a different video clip. So let's open up another project. Um, I was working on this project the other day. So let's open it up. Okay, here, here's a perfect example. Um, I was showcasing this Beach Tech DXA Micro Pro. And yeah, it's pretty much in frame, but I wanna zoom in so you can really look at the dials because this is how I shot it, right? I wanna zoom in here. So how do I do that? Uh, first of all, I'm going to set the start point. Let's say here, this is where I want um, our anchor to be, right? And instead of using the crop, we're going to use the transform tool. And what we do is we add a keyframe here. Then I want to move 10 frames to the right. So I hold on the shift and hit the right arrow key. My playhead moves 10 frames to the right. Now what I do now is I can zoom in here, go to the scale and, and scale in. Right, and now I can take this or, yeah. Oh no, I don't wanna do that. Control C to undo, that's to uh, rotate it. I wanna take this one and move it more towards the center like that. All right, let me open up the animation by hitting Control V, there it is. Now we can see the keyframes. So this is where the video clip starts, we play it. And it's zoomed in. You see that? Now let's say uh, I want to zoom out again, maybe somewhere over here. I want to zoom out. What I can do is hit the keyframe button again, this one, and then move 10 frames to the right, shift, right arrow key. And then um, I can bring the, uh, the scale to like, let's say, back to its original form of 100. Right, and then move this to the center. There it is, now it's at the center. So let's play this again. There it is, it's zoomed out. And let's say that this took too long. I, want, I just wanna do a brief zoom in, zoom out. I can drag these keyframes like this. Right, and if and if I play this again, that's how you do it. And you can also make it uh, the 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 zoom out to happen faster if you just drag them closer together. 
these keyframes. So let's play it again. That's how you do a zoom in, zoom out effect. You can always play with uh, these keyframes. Again, the shortcut key is Control V, and it'll close it, Control V to open the video animation. So that's how you do a very basic uh, zoom in and zoom out. Um, I like to use the transform just because uh, I'm more familiar with it. Like I said, uh, the Ken Burns might be useful in certain situations, but whenever you want more control, then you might want to use that transform tool. Please let me know if you have any questions or aren't clear about anything or you know of a better way to do it. I'm always open to learn. This is just the way I like to do it and how I'm able to achieve that results I want. Um, so yeah, any questions, comments down below, please like it if you like this kind of stuff. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.